How you doing, folks? My golf. Well, not my golf, but a golf. Um, did you ever think about where, when your car is finished and the life is finished of your car, did you ever think about where it goes to? Does it come here? I'm inside this morning in Relihan's car dismantlers and I suppose Relihan's breakers in Clash Industrial Estate in Tralee. I know Tom was years time in school with Tom actually. Um, Tom has what a selection of cars there's ever. There must be 2,000 cars inside here. The process is you bring in your car here to Tom or Tom will buy your car off a garage. Maybe you traded in your car. Maybe you traded in this, this Golf. And maybe you traded in that Golf, right? Or that Honda or that whatever. And it was... The garage didn't want to sell it. It wasn't up to scratch. It wasn't going to pass an NCT. Um, so on and so forth. Maybe the emissions were wrong on it. Something like that. Um, the garage in will contact Tom here in Relihans. And um, Tom will then buy the car off of them. And the car will come in here. And an awful lot of times what actually happens is the car is broken down for parts. Um, the engines, the brakes, the wheels, the tyres. It's all broken down. An awful lot of it gets recycled. I have a 2010 Audi and I guarantee to you my Audi is a lot greener than your diesel car because <laughs> I've gotten an awful lot of recyclable parts out of Tom here um, and the, the stuff is brilliant. There's yards and yards and yards. We're going to turn the camera and we'll just give a small turn the camera and give a small walk down through it. Like look, there's yards of stuff. I'm into there's Astras, there's Hyundai's, there's Hondas, there's Volvos. There's Volkswagen Golfs, there's everything you can imagine. Everything you can imagine is here. There's Astras, there's Mazdas, there's, and there's look, the pieces. Something like robbed a piece off that. Back door gone, bumpers gone, um, engines gone, um, front struts gone. Go around like this, look, wheels gone. Look at the lines and lines and lines of cars. There is just there must be the best part of 2,000 cars here. And what ends up happening is when the cars are all crushed and the cars are not crushed, when the cars are, are gone through and all the best of the parts are taken out of the cars, the cars then go to the crusher. Like I said, when the cars are gone through, they go through all the cars here. They rob, they well, won't rob, they, they salvage parts off of them. They salvage engines. Uh, engines, gearboxes, front struts, front wings, um, brake discs, you name it, they they come in here. Now, it's not just a, a scrap yard or, or whatever kind of yard you want to call it. Everything here has to be assessed. Tom told me himself that um, every car in sight here has to be placed, has to be in a certain area, uh, health and safety, they can't have any oil spills, nothing like that. Everything has to be... Uh, just absolutely perfect. There can be no oil on the ground. Look at the ground. There can be no parts thrown on the ground. There can't be any trip hazards, anything like that. And there is just acres and acres and acres of cars here. It's unbelievable. There's Citroëns, there's Peugeots. What are these? These are Audis in front of us. Next door to the Audis is the Volvos. Um, there's vans, there's cars, there's unusual cars, there's red cars, there's green cars, there's blue cars, there's even a Kerry car, is that your car? Um, and they come in here, and like I said, they're salvaged for parts, um, the engines are recycled, they, and eventually the car will go to be itself recycled in the crusher. They're crushed um, once all the usable parts are taken off them, and um, that's kind of it, they're crushed and they're recycled, and they'll go again, and... Um, who knows, you probably have a car that was once here, a part of it was once here at one time. Do you want parts for your van? Transits, Hyper Transits, Renaults, um, what else is there? Uh, Citroëns, um, I can't see it, Hyundais, Toyotas. What's this? This is, I'd say they're, they're Passats. Oh, Passats up along, not Passats, sorry, Sabs. Sabs, 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 more Sabs. Volvos up along. Hyundai's on this side, all Hyundai's on this side. 
Hyundai A10s, you name it. If you have a car and it's given to why would you go away and buy? Why would you go away and buy a new part? If, if you have a car like this, contact Tom. It doesn't have to be Tom. Tom is here in Trulli in County Kerry. It doesn't have to be Tom. Contact someone in your area. Look at this, like, there's vans, there's Citroen vans, there's Renault vans. What else do we have? Let's walk through them. Toyota, it's a Toyota, isn't it? Um, Fiat vans, Fiat Doblos, Renault Masters, Renault Traffics, Volkswagen Golfs, um, Ex-Post Office vans, Citroens, um, Volkswagen Caddy above. Like, these are here, Hyundai's, there's a, a Subaru Legacy over there. There's a Hyundai Santa Fe, there's a Hyundai Accent. Like, why, I, Hyundai i30, she's 11 KY. Like, there's, there's plenty of stuff left in these cars. Now, let's get to the point of the video. Like, what's this, Hyundai Sonata. Like, all these cars come in here, and I can say that already in the video, when they're salvaged, when they're robbed for parts, when there's no more on them or when they're deemed that these cars are not, what's the CLC 200 Mercedes? When there's no more on them and they feel that, that the front axle's gone off of this sab here, like the back axle's gone off the sab. Um, when they feel there's no more parts on the car, no more usable parts, and um, the cars then go to be crushed. And they go up here into the crusher. I think it's a Hyundai digger above. And um, they're sent off, they're into a ball of metal. And of course the catalytic converters is all taken out. Every last bit of these cars is sent to the, the recycler. So my, like I said, my 2010 Audi, I guarantee you is a lot greener than your electric car. I would nearly, nearly, nearly put money in it guys, nearly put money in it. Let's go and give a, a look at the crusher and how the crusher works. This is kind of the final port to call in when the car comes in or the van comes in. Um, the engines, as you can see, the engine is stripped off the van. And the back axle is stripped off the van before she will go to the crusher. And um, we have a lorry here today taking away a load of rims, allied rims. Everything is reused and recycled. And in the house below there, where the lorry's kind of driven into, we're not going to go down there. That's for draining all the oil. Any car that comes in, all the oils, gearbox oil, back axle oil, it's all removed from the car before um, before it goes down the yard. All right, guys, this is the final, the final of your car. This is when the car is no more good and it is completely robbed out for parts. There's no more usable parts on it. And um, the next use it has now is um, recycle it and turn it back into a more or less a new car. First things first, you crush it down a small bit to make it fit into the crusher. Nice Hyundai digger actually. I was a Ford Focus. Engine's gone out of it, back axles have gone off of it, door locks have even gone off of it, the petrol cap has even gone off of it. Into the crusher. Squash it down a small bit. Here comes down the door.
I presume the door coming down, it's all on hydraulics, so I presume it's at least 20 ton. Another car ready for the crusher. Is it a Peugeot? I think it's a Peugeot. Down comes the door. And once the door is down, there's a big long ram which you can't see over on your left hand side. That ram will come in and close the whole lot into one small little cube. Okay guys, the crusher is now opening. This is the remains of, what was it? Did we say it was a Ford Focus? And she will be shipped off now to some recyclable company and she'll be shredded. And when she's shredded, she will just go back into a new car. Is that your Ford Focus at one stage? Was that your Ford Focus? And on it goes. Alright guys, and the next one is up, and I don't know what it is, it's some kind of a Peugeot. As you can see it there, the engine's gone out of it, the back axles have gone off of it, the front axles have gone out of it, all the aisles are taken out of it, everything. And there she goes, and this just continues. And like I said, who knows, maybe you're going to order a car in 2020, late 2023, 2025, who knows. This Peugeot that's up next might even be part of your next car. But that's where they go, they go out for recyclables. They go to be recycled and they are put back through the whole process again. Everything has to be tidied up around the yard. So lads, if you have sent a car into Tom Railhead in the last couple of years, the chances are it has gone in through that crusher after all the parts have been salvaged from it. And basically, this is what they end up as. This is what they end up as, just a cube. And they end up as a cube, and like I said, they go out to be recycled and do whatever, and back into the, the whole system again. You can see, look, um, an Octavia, a Peugeot, a Ford, they're all there, guys. Alright guys, that's it. This is Relahan's car dismantlers and breakers. 
Internally, I'll turn the camera, the number's probably backwards there, I know you're looking at it. But I'll turn the camera first, you can see a couple more cars lined up here coming in this morning. So this is their details. If you want any parts off of any car you might have seen, or parts you might have seen, but I guarantee you they have them. Um, give them a call here at Relatives Dismantlers and Breakers in Tralee. And thanks to Tom and thanks to all the guys here, and I suppose the guys and women, for leaving me make uh, the video around the yard. And uh, keep on, like I said, keep on recycling, lads. You're doing a fantastic, fantastic job. Cheers, guys. Thank you.